In the previous four episodes, you heard about NEA's release of male Wolbachia carrying Aedes aegypti mosquitoes in Singapore to understand their behaviour and ecology in our high density and high rise urban landscape. We have now progressed to phase two of Project Wolbachia Singapore. When these male Wolbachia Aedes mosquitoes mate with urban Aedes aegypti females in the community, the resultant eggs do not hatch. The continual release of such male Wolbachia Aedes mosquitoes is expected to bring about a gradual reduction in the urban Aedes aegypti mosquito population. Thanks to the strong support from residents and the community, Phase 1 of the Project Wolbachia field studies has now been successfully completed at the three selected study sites at Bradle Heights, Tampines West and Nisun East. At Phase 1 of the field study, about 50% suppression of Aedes aegypti mosquitoes at the release sites shows that the Wabakia technology is really promising. The study has also given us lots of valuable data to help us move forward to the next phase. We have also gained a better understanding of how far and how high the male Wabakia Aedes mosquitoes fly, how long they live, and their mating competitiveness in actual field conditions. So one of the things that we found was that within the site there was quite a lot of heterogeneity in the amount of mosquito breeding. Um, this was both at different blocks within the site but also different levels within the block. And this has some implications for how we will design the next phase of the Wabakia study. The study also indicated some challenges due to Singapore's high rise and high density landscape. Now, as we progress to phase 2 field study, we will refine our release methodologies and tactics so that we can achieve a higher impact on the mosquito population in the community. The Wolbachia technology, if proven effective, will further strengthen our capabilities to tackle dengue and other mosquito-borne diseases. This is especially crucial as higher global temperatures resulting from climate change can have an impact on the spread of mosquito-borne diseases and public health. We are encouraged by the continual interest and positive support from residents and members of the public at the various Project Wolbachia engagement platforms. Many have satisfied their scientific curiosity and have been excited to experience the Wolbachia Aedes mosquitoes up close during the learning journeys at our mosquito production facility. We very much welcome such visits by residents and stakeholders and we will continue to garner valuable feedback as we make progress with the technology in the next few years.